It's great to see y'all. Dax, you are working out like crazy. What's what's the what's happening? Isn't he a hunk? Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't he a hunk? Look at this. What Look at this you? guy. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, um, uh, I'm embarrassed now. Um, I don't know, Ellen. I don't know why I'm doing it. I think I'm 46 and I'm like, this might be the last chance to, you know. Pack on some raw beef. Did you work out before, though? or is it, it... I always worked out, but then I really, in quarantine, you know, there wasn't a ton to do. There wasn't a ton to do, so you really focused really on biceps and butt. Because he's always sort of looked a little bit like he was riding a chicken. Thank you. And so, but he, re said a better... he really beefed up his legs, and then now he's just, he's a big boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I got no complaints. Yeah, will you tell us when we Cross the line, too far, or like, no? I, you I, won't. I, <laughs> just enjoy it. I encourage it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, great. We all en we enjoy it. Now you're working out a lot too. Yeah, I, he's not the only one for yeah, sure. Yeah, she's, she's but I, fit as No, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen you on. But you know, sometimes he'll help me, which is really sweet, because I'll start doing a set and he'll go, "Are you coachable? Can I give you a no?" And then he'll give me the right move, which is really sweet. Well, I don't want to. Um, uh, what do we call it? Objectify you, but we are married. Yeah. Hit her with the buns. These, this outfit. I couldn't get my eyes off. Look at the buns. Just edging up to the. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. That's. <laughs> Guys, those are hardworking buns. It's like right it's there. not objectification. I am proud because I have put a lot of work into them. And Dax has created. I'm gonna pull a my pants Wonderful. <laughs> Dex has created a wonderful space for uh, our family to work out. I mean, yeah. Tell them yeah about your, gym, your gym doesn't look like something anybody would want a membership to. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> In the Groucho Marx tradition, yes, I didn't want any members applying. I see. I see. But look at the uh, product. Well, so, but you know, the, the Rock famously has this gym called Iron Paradise. And so I decided, <laughs> all right, Rock, I got a little scratch myself. Let's go to war. That's his gym. And now, this is Black Mold Paradise, my gym. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There we go. Look at the HVAC <laughs> system my friend Aaron hooked up. That is up to code, everybody. Don't send any inspectors by if you have family in the biz. It does the job, though. <laughs> Listen, yeah. between the lazy boy in the house and this, it's not really, it's not really selling the, the it, decor. We yeah. might not have the nicest stuff, yeah. you know, but yeah. we're happy. Yeah. Yeah. You're so angry when you did that. Um, <laughs> It's not like I can have the house of can, dreams. <laughs> can we show a video I saw this morning of you? Let's let's well, wait, wait. first before you oh. show it. Um, okay. You're in charge. It's your show, but yeah. I do think it requires just me to say that ahead, ahead um, of time. Yes. What's that? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Reader's Digest person. So we had this enormous uh, bin in our front yard to get rid of all this construction waste, and we're throwing away all Big this kind of stuff. Bin. He, he forty yard thing, and so uh, Kristen came out. She wanted to do some gardening. Where is my white tub? White tub. Yes, it was like this big. I go, oh, I thought that was a part of the property. It was covered in mud. I threw it in that huge bin. Well, now the bin is two-thirds full, and I tell her, it's gone, hon. I'm so sorry. I will replace it. I said, you can't replace a vintage French baby basin, which is what it was. Okay, I purchased it from a flea market. It was beautiful, mm -hmm. and I wanted it back. Okay, so here... Is the, that you, it's gorgeous. You, you can put well, drinks in it. You can at garden the in it. Refurbished version. I. This was in a hole in the backyard. Okay, <laughs> and it looked like there was uh, some. There was bird carcass, carcass <laughs> in <laughs> there. Bird. So I pitched it, and I said, I can't go in there. I don't want tetanus. All so right. I went about my business, and then I came back like an hour later, and there's all this trash now around the side of the bin. And I climbed up top, and now I shot this video. And now this is her looking for that. So much to enjoy here. I said to myself, well, I know where it is, right? It's got a finite amount of space. It's just. What are you looking for? What? <laughs> <laughs> there's, listen, here's what I did learn. Uh, there is a reason why you don't see the wonderful construction workers in our city, you know, um, spiffing up the infrastructure in a sundress and rubber Birkenstocks. It's not the outfit to do the job. Okay. She started in clothes. We should say that. We're I not entirely insane. You started in an outfit. You got a little uh, and then I got, fitzy. I got fitzy. I took off the dress, but I was still in rubber Birks. You and were in I, the privacy of a, a trash dump. Yep. Yeah, I was in my own personal <laughs> wastebasket. And I'll tell you something. Found she found tub. it. She found you it. did find it. <laughs> Thank God. We saved at least $60. At God. least $60 was saved. Thank God. We were all just on the edge of our seats. <laughs>
Did she find the French baby basin? Um, all right, we're going to take a break. More with Dax and Kristen after this. We are back with Kristen Bell, Dax Shepard, and Hello Bello is uh, your brand that's doing very, very well. You just opened your own factory here. That's why you were in Texas, right? Here in the yeah. state, a diaper factory. Yes. Tell everybody. The only. Yes. Now we're the only independently diaper-owned manufacturer in the United States, bringing 150 jobs, and we'll be producing, I think it's 800 diapers a minute on three machines. Was 800 times three? 2,400. 2,400 diapers a minute. Um, we give us So feed your kids roughage, because we've got the backup if they, for it. Yeah, if they bring it out, and we're really proud. We're, we're, you know, sort of starting as a baby company, but now we're sort of wanting to be viewed as a parent company, because we want to be there for parents. And we're also, we also started something proprietary this year called the Diaper Fund, which, you know, like GoFundMe, and you can say when you have needs, uh, if you go to hellobello.com and you're in need of diapers, you can set up an account and then you can send it out to your friends and family saying, I need a little extra help for the next couple months or this year. But you can also go on as a rando and just well, buy diapers for everyone. Yes. So but... it's pretty cool to give parents the support that they need. Yeah. And you did a, a commercial for uh, Hello Bella, which we have to show because it's adorable. We had to cut it down. It's, it's a minute, but here's a little bit of it. Let me be your ride or diaper. Let me be your remedy. They call me Hello Bella. They call me Hello Bella. Between this, which is so fantastic for many reasons, and what you're doing with momsplaining, you're helping a lot of people because that's funny and educational. I love it so much. It's doing so well. So if you haven't watched momsplaining, you should. Family Game Fight, I, did, did you have fun, and will you do that again? We did not have fun, and yes, we'd love to do it again. <laughs> it was pretty much the worst experience of our collective 40s. Two-year career. It was a lot of work. Was well brutal. I just yes, this game in particular. So this this game is called Brain Freeze, and you get a bucket of ice dumped on your head. Well, it just so happened that we shot six of these in a row. You get three buckets of ice on you per time, so that's eighteen. Eighteen. And it was one thirty in the morning. And then we got dried in between the every and month. We'd have to run up, but the but the place to get dried was two flights up, so we'd have to run up, <laughs> sopping wet, two flights up, four hair dryers on us, run back down, do it all again, and act like we were just totally happy to be drenched. It was the pits. And then we got home, and we were we were in the bathroom, and we we were dead quiet because we were dead, and and we were like brushing our teeth, and I just go, <clears throat> I think that was my hardest day in showbiz. <laughs> and Krista goes. Without question, it was the worst. <laughs> and yet, people ask us, would we do it again? And we're like, absolutely. Yeah, sign us up. Well, it's, it's fun for us to watch. <laughs> All right, for more information about Hello Bello, go to our website. Kristen and Dax are going to play a game when we come back. We'll be back. <laughs> 